Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your S&P 500 day trade setups for today. So a uh, bit of a, a rally off the bottoms as we expected yesterday, and uh, back into or back at the top of this previous uh, range. And as I said yesterday, not really keen on uh, on shorting this from here just yet. I would prefer something a little bit better. Um, and that would be at least at 38.28 and then um, also around 37.50. But if you look to the left, you will see there is a bit of structure here. And uh, this area here, which is just short of 37.50, is very, very strong if you look at this. So let's just get down to the time frames. Uh, looking at the three hour, oscillators are getting a little bit uh, overcooked. Not there yet, but they are heading that way. We are in an area where there has been a lot of resistance in the past. I'm just going to fine tune that level there to 37.50. Uh, very strong bit of support up here. Now, or should I say, was support, now uh, flipped into resistance. Now, if we get down to the hour, you can see we've got a crossover. We do have a bit of a a pin bar up here, uh, this is a zone where you should expect something to happen, but we need to be careful. So we've had such a long fall, if you just look at it from a 8 hour perspective, you can see it's been three weeks that we've been heading down. So um, there are some value buyers out there that are starting to say, right, so if, you know all the bad news is priced in and uh, we now need to get going. So, and there's a lot of data that that supports that theory as well, specifically around the month of October. And I think if you just do some homework around that, you'll see uh, every time there's been a a turn in the market being, uh, that started in October has always continued very strongly. Well, not always, but uh, the percentage-wise is up to 80%. So, you have to keep you have to keep all of that noise in the back of your head because people are trading it and institutions are the ones that will be trading it as well. So, what do we do? For me at the moment, as I said yesterday, I'm still not interested in shorting up here because it's had three attempts here. So this is the fourth attempt at that at this level, and this level we're referring to is right here at 37.21 or. 3720 or even 3700 so we've had three attempts to get back through there it took us one attempt to get down but it's taken us three to try to get back this is the fourth attempt um, I really strongly believe you're probably going to find a, a move to the upside the next thing that you need to pay attention to is the bottom of this range this was a fake out of the range at the moment and that is at 3647 so if we do reject this area, that would be your target area. And I'd actually just tighten up that level and use this as my structure. And that is at 36.60. So 36.60, if we start finding support there, uh, I may be interested in a buying opportunity. I'm not interested in selling here just yet. Uh, I'd want to see a little bit more price action here for a rejection. And as I said, because it's, happened, it's tried three times already, this is the fourth time, I strongly suspect it's going to get through and probably give you an opportunity up here at 37.50. Now, if we just pop down to the 15 minutes, you can see a nice break above the 155 here. And you can see all this price action on the 155 before accelerating away. Uh, not quite on the level that you would be looking for for an entry, which would have been 36.60. That was the breakout. You can see there, you would have expected to flip that and come back to support on that, and that would have given you the opportunity to, to buy into it. So for now, a strong possibility of um, support being found, and you're looking for an opportunity uh, either to get to this level here at 37.50, or you're looking for a better rejection here and for price to move down. So for me, if we just do this, a break of... 37.20 is definitely on the cards. You have a 220 point stop loss at the moment for a 298 point gain. So that kind of 
the view that I've got. I think this little rally that we've had yesterday is going to continue at least until 37.50. I expect us to reject this area. Uh, I will have a small position short up here, but um, I am very cautious at the moment because it could be a situation where we are looking for a turn. Still down, you know, the high time frames are still saying trend is down, but there's definitely something brewing at the moment. So this is the area to pay attention to. I suspect we're going to get there. So you've got smaller time frames, uh, like 5 to 15 minutes. Uh, you can just look left to the structure. So long as we stay above the 155 EMA on, on the lower time frames, the trend is up and you're looking to get to the next level. So uh, that's kind of my view at the moment. There's definitely merit for paying attention to this low as well, 3706 or 3700. If we can hold it this morning on a lower time frame, I would definitely be looking to see if we can get up to this area. Um, 3750, but then I'd be looking for a short, uh, well worth the, the, the risk, I, I believe anyway. Nice uh, small position, tight stop loss, and it could be a big move down, or it could just come back, uh, find support, and then attempt to break through that level. And that, in my eyes anyway, is a stronger level than where we are at the moment. So. That's kind of my view this morning. I think um, trend is definitely down, but looking at the 8th hour, I don't want to be jumping in short down here. I definitely want to be short much higher up, um, and that's still going to give me the opportunity to get the second leg down. So that's it for me today. I hope it helps, and uh, we will catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.